Hey everybody, how you doing? I am updating everyone right now uh, because I, I I don't have uh, I don't have any idea to what else to do here. Uh, I'm stuck. I I went to court on March 25th. If any of you have been following my my channel, uh, I've been going to court I'm going to court since uh, January. Well, I was arrested on January 4th, uh, a year and a half ago now, I've been wearing this electronic ankle monitor. I've been trying to get ex exculpatory evidence. I signed a plea deal before I knew what exculpatory evidence was or a motion discovery or anything I was lied to. Just the, the truth was kept from, from me by my attorney. Uh, you know, they didn't do, the, the, I, I paid them so much money, everything I had left, and I had to borrow some. And so my, my finances are ruined now. Um, well, if you've been following my, my videos, you already know all this, all this stuff. Um, but anyway, it's, it's been a long, if you're new to my videos, it's been a long, long road of just trying to keep up, trying to stay afloat, only being aware of this for just about just two years now let's see yeah yeah right at two years now that I've been aware that gang stalking or organized stalking and harassment is a thing I've been researching non-stop to figure out what happened to me and uh, here I am I know more <laughs> than I ever thought I would ever know about this and I sometimes wish I didn't even know uh, I'm so I guess I should get back to the, uh, the court thing. I went to court on March 25th. I, t I keep telling them I'm not accepting this plea deal. I want the exculpatory evidence. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'd rather die. I'd rather die or sit in solitary confinement the rest of my life than, than go through this anymore and put up with this shit than making me look like the bad guy when I've asked for help for so long, and then all of a sudden I start to, I ask for help, and all of a sudden, oh, hey, he did this. Perfect timing, impeccable timing every time. I've reached out for help. So many places, the FBI, DHS, Sheriff's Department, police, and all, yeah, it just doesn't matter. Um, some people have helped me. So anyway, I'm supposed to go to court. Uh, I'm in court with the public defender, of course. My, uh, this starts itching right away. I don't know what these hand signals mean, but of course, why does that happen all this? <sighs> people that are targeted understand what I'm talking about. The people that don't need to go back and research what, we're t what I'm talking about. I went to court on March 25th. In court, my public defender and I, I have a public defender now, I can't afford an attorney anymore. We're standing there by ourselves in the courtroom, everyone else is cleared out, no witnesses, no one in the, uh, no one in the seats, no one around. The only time I've gone by myself, I didn't take anyone with me. And they, they tried to pull a fast one on me. They told me 45 days is when you will have court again. I said, okay. I'll be ready for that. The attorney says, I'll call you in about two weeks. I have a bunch of stuff going on. I'm like, oh, okay, two weeks. And then two weeks come around. I'm here from calling. I don't want to go through the whole process, but it's been many times that I've called. I've got a call back from him. He says, oh, I'm on the road. I'll call you when I get home. I don't hear from him. Um, and it's been this revolving door. I've been trying to meet with him and give him a letter that I have and tell him exactly what I want to do. And demand the exculpatory evidence that's being withheld from me from this case so I can prove my innocence. Prove that I have been organized, stalked, and harassed. They will not give me these videotapes because that there will be something in there that they don't want me to see. My conversation with the police officers, you know. Uh, so, it, it you know, this is drug out so long, people, people, people are fickle, and I understand there's a lot going on in, in life. Uh, oh, wait, I, I didn't finish the story about court. Yeah, I didn't finish the story about court. 
I'm supposed to go 45 days after March 25th, which would be April the 8th. And I go to the, thankfully I went in today, um, the person that would do field checks, I guess they call it, where they follow you to somewhere and then they just show up where you're at and check on your ankle monitor, even if you are not a convicted felon or wearing an ankle monitor because you've been convicted, uh, they do that even if you have not been convicted of anything. They treat you just the same, just exactly the same. Went down there today. Uh, Got to run around again and then we sit out in the sit out in the waiting room. There were zero people. I had to just sit there and wait until some guy was, you know, ready to come out and see me. Still haven't um, seen the person that I'm supposed to see, Sheila Jones. That's not the name on the business card. I think these guys are all like parole officers too. So I, I guess they just believe that everybody that walks in that door is guilty and is a piece of shit um, that needs to be treated like that. And uh, I'm not going to put up with it. I don't care. I don't care do not care, do not deserve this. I want to, um, okay, I keep getting sidetracked from the point of this. Sorry, there's a bunch of noise outside my window. Imagine that uh, guy loading a truck or something like that. I go down there to the uh, ankle monitor people today. I see another new person, I see another new person. And uh, he's got a, Real wonderful, wonderful attitude. Yeah. Um, he tells me, "Okay, okay. So your court date's on uh, Thursday, so you'll be ready for that, right?" And I, I could see in his eyes he knew that that's what he was doing. He'd be, Here it comes. I want to see the reaction. And uh, I just said, "Huh? Really? That? That's not what uh, the judge said." And he's like, "Oh well, I wasn't there. You're gonna have to take that up with the judge." trying to cause a conflict. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, well, it says right here. So get out of there. Call my attorney. I call, I don't know, four times, something like that, five times. Uh, he calls me back. I tell him what the deal is. He says he looks it up on the uh, docket. Yeah, confirms it. Yeah, we're, we're going on Thursday. It's a good thing that I just went in there. So imagine that if they wanted, you know, if I'm if I'm doing everything properly, if I, I have the law, if I'm stating, you know, like Arizona Rule 15.1 uh, and 17 point whatever that I've got in my letter, that um, and I and I let them know that I was not zealously defended by my attorney, and he they they intentionally withheld withheld information, so I would take this plea deal because so I would have no other option. Once I figured out. That, that I was being shanghaied for this whole thing by everyone, and I and I and I, did, I got help from a few people. They pointed me in the right direction, and I, I presented that to the court. Now all of a sudden, they don't they don't want to hear it. They just want to push this through. They don't want they don't want um, to accept the information that I'm giving them. They don't want to go back and look at it. They just want to push this through and get rid of me. And I'm again again. You know, I, I rose my right hand uh, and swore an oath to the Constitution to enemies, foreign and domestic. And our the, that's a, the, the system is being used as a cash cow against targets. So after I'm gone, after I'm gone, good good luck. You're, I mean, not that I'm the, the one doing everything to stop this, but I'm saying. Somebody's gonna take my place if I'm gone. You know, somebody that did just a little bit too many Facebook posts about whatever the thing is that uh, would get you targeted. So, so anyway, so I have court on Thursday. I have not spoken with this attorney. This is the second public defender. All he has to do is submit what I have, and I can't get, even get anybody to do that. Um, you know, I've been making some videos recently. I've been uh, trying to joke around. I've been making some videos that don't have anything to do with organized stalking, harassment. I've been singing. I've been doing, you know, you know, because it's um, it's almost like I knew this was coming. I knew um, because of the past decades of going through this, and then learning about how it actually operates. And now seeing what's understanding what has transpired from the beginning 
slowly, slowly, slowly in increments to where they get you to the point to where when they're re ready to take you down, they have spent so much time, effort, and energy to do that that there's no, there's nothing you can do. They have you in checkmate um, in a game that you didn't know you were playing from the beginning. They let you know, like, like you're playing Monopoly and you don't even know you're playing and they say, hey, you want to play a game? They've already finished 99% uh, of the game and at the end they go, uh, <laughs> they let you know, oh yeah, by the way, we're, we're winning this and we started playing when you weren't looking. Nothing you can do, just take it. Try to tell people, we'll, we'll tell people you're crazy. You started the game when we started. What are you talking about? No one was here, nobody saw it. It was real subtle. Uh, so that that's how I have been feeling, you know. I mean, I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not just going to put up with this. But that's how I've been feeling. So I just went ahead and did some things like, you know, like singing and uh, spending a little bit too much money on food. Took myself to a comedy show the other night. I was trying to hook up with some girl who lives around here, but she was probably uh, uh, perp. I don't know. She was way too pretty to be talking to me right now. Uh, so, probably never see her. But anyway, that, it could have been a distraction. But yeah, I'm just trying to do stuff like that. Um, because if they do, go ahead and figure out a way to throw me in jail. There's no prison with this plea deal. And they, they said no jail in the plea deal as well. But... I keep getting lied to repetitiously over and over and over and over again. Um, I have to figure everything every figure everything out on my own when I go to these places. I can't even ask, hey, what floor is uh, so-and-so on? They'll be like, oh, I'm so glad you asked. It's on floor whatever. And then you get up there and they're like, mm, what are you talking about? That's who... And you go look at the directory. It's three floors down. That kind of stuff. Uh, so, who knows, this could be my last video. I don't know. You know, they, they, like, they like you to freak out, they like you to panic. Um, but then it's like when you quit panicking, not panicking, but being vigilant and being proactive and doing like these videos and stuff. You know, I don't know who's watching. I don't know how many people have been uh, unsubscribed from my channel or blocked or the video hasn't come up, or, you know, I don't even know. And there's so much going on in the world. What's, it, I'm not that big of a deal. Uh, I mean, I'm a single dad, live in a house. Um, with this, failing eBay business that I got left with but I'm running on my own now I'm happy for my son he uh, got a full-time job he's living in another state he's working full-time doing construction that's awesome I'm happy for him at the same time it's like one of those bittersweet things happy for him uh, I can't deal with someone else so it's not that I give up, I just can't do this. It's not enough hours in the day to, uh, to do this. So, but, you know, you try. I guess all entrepreneurs um, fail a few things until they make it. But then when, when you're targeted, <laughs> you don't realize, oh, man, some of those didn't work. Be not because they weren't going to work, but because somebody was pulling some strings. I, I don't know, I might, I might do another video between now and the time I go to court. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'd, I guess I'm done now. I guess I'm done talking. All right, everybody have a good, sorry, long pause at the end, just trying to think about what I'm missing and I'm just how messed up this whole thing is.
And I'm talking low, so I'm sure a bunch of people are going to say, turn your volume up. Turn your volume up, man. I can't hear you. Why are you scratching your face? All right. Wish everybody luck. Hopefully I'll uh, make another video sometime.